Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the outer world. At the end of our last video, we wrapped up our day with Sanjar and Celia attempting to make peace between him and Zora now that Graham is out of the picture. So let's pick back up there and see what happens. If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. Hmm. Okay, so could you agree to a truce with the Iconoclasts? They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. Well, I read your reviews, Sanjar. You can't do this alone. Ugh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. <laughs> yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipiller. And my will is my cocoon. What? I can emerge and become whatever I wish. What? <laughs> You're good with details, but you could use someone who sees the big picture. The people who wrote your reviews are the same type of people you deal with on the board. Pull your head out of your ass, Sandra. Don't screw this opportunity up over your wounded pride. Um. Huh. I think maybe let's go with the first one and not piss him off too much. You too. She has a point, sir, and it's not all bad. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. Well, how did things get so bad between you and the Iconoclasts? Let's, let's try that. Oh, uh, how do these things ever start? Once upon a time, Graham and I saw the same problems with MSI. A rigid corporate structure with no regard for its people. But... Where I wanted to reform MSI, he only wanted to take it apart. As if starving in the wilderness is somehow better than starving under corporate mismanagement. <laughs> he wouldn't hear reason, and I doubt any of his successors will either. Well, Zora leads the Iconoclast now. What about her? That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Hmm. Actually, I already found it on a terminal in Cascadia. And, uh, but yeah, are you serious? One can't be haphazard about these things. Besides, if you think her skills will complement mine, then we should see what those skills are. Okay, yeah, well, let's give him the review. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. All right. I'll have Celia organize a meeting in neutral territory, the old OSI church in the ruins. Meet us there, and we'll discuss terms. Okay, very well. So where exactly am I going? I need to go and oversee the negotiation at some former church. Oh, I know where that's at. That's over by the, over by the cannibals, right? So yeah, let's go to this door and then we can run right on over there. It's not by the cannibals. It's on the other side, right? Maybe, perhaps. <laughs> Zora and Sanjar might work better together. Sanjar's, I mean, I don't think he's as delusional as Graham was. Let's put it that way. I don't know if he's the, the guy who has his head completely on straight because he's still very corporate -y about everything, but it can't hurt. Hello? Hey, thanks for coming. You're welcome. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. So that's the spirit. Sanjar, you have, you, have got, you have got to scale it back. I don't have time for this nonsense from either of you, so let's just get this done. But no, yeah, improvising, that's the spirit, good sir. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. I get the feeling this is gonna take a while. Yeah. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? 
Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. You don't have weeks, Sanjar. Zora's ready to storm the city right now. What if the Iconoclast just supported your supply lines? I'm gonna drop a budget, I'd appreciate a paycheck. No, let's see, the Iconoclast need to do something as well. Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. Okay, so I'm not saying live outside, just help out in the wilderness once in a while, yeah. At least you'd be better than nothing. Yeah, I'm not saying live outside completely. Just, you know, go take care of the, the bad marauders and the mantic queens and raptodons and all that stuff. Suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Well, I'll be damned. If you two can work together, maybe there's some hope for this place after all. See? Truly a compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend, and I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. Hmm. Something tells me Sanjar didn't know. I don't think Sanjar would have hurt anyone if he knew he didn't agree to it. Oh, I mean, I get the feeling Sanjar may... I feel like Sanjar is just that kind of corporate delusional guy, but let's, let's see how that goes, or where this goes. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something, but you two aren't laughing. Yeah. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. It is. We found the correspondence between him and the pirates. Wasn't it convenient how they all died just after blocking your proposal? You're missing the big picture here for the details again. Yeah, I don't know if Sandra is that guy, though. Like, he's too much like, I'll just work harder and, and take more reviews and take more notes and be more organized. I feel like that's he'd, he'd do that versus killing his boss. You know? um, but yeah, we well, why don't we tell him it's, it's actually true? But that means I had no idea, I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. I buy it. Sanjar ain't capable of hurting a sprat, even from a distance. Okay. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. Hmm. Um, this is gonna take much longer at places to be. Take it back a notch, Zora. You, you're here for your people, not the past. Yeah, let's, let's focus on the future, because I just don't like um like my companion said whose name Nayoka like Nayoka said I I just I don't feel like he'd have that good of initiative he's he's scared about doing anything I okay okay you're right sorry it'll take me a while to get over losing Graham you know I felt the same way years ago when he first left you know, there was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay, if you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. See? Glad to hear it. I'm hopeful about this alliance. Was that so hard? <laughs> Let's be sarcastic. Yes, Captain. <laughs> it was. Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. 50 Bits says they kill each other before the week's out. Maybe. Can we talk? You want to talk, Ellie? Sure, but can you give me a second? I want to check out my, uh, Canid's some the Canid's Cradle. Okay, so Zora and Sandra have made peace between MSI and the Iconoclast. So, yeah, that's it, I guess. We oversaw the negotiations and... Okay, are we, are we like done here? Is that it? Like really? There's no like follow up? I need to go follow up with everybody, but what's, what's up Ellie? Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Mm -hmm. Outside of shouting four letter words, I mean. <laughs> Just goes to show you there's always a peaceful option. It's not too late for them to go back to their old ways. Well, uh, let's go with the first one. Sure. And fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. <laughs> look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. But? 
But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. Well, that's... That was a very specific image, and you've got to try looking for the good in people. Sounds like you were rooting against them. No, that is a very specific image. Might you be referencing something else, perhaps, Ellie? Well, who hasn't been there? Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. Mm, nice to know you care. Hey, let's not make this out to be more than it is. <laughs> Anything else? You wanted to talk to me. Um... Let's go. I do want to talk to these two. Ex excuse me, sir or madam. Hey. If you'll excuse me. Okay, well, let's head back to. Hmm, let's go to Amber Heights and see if there's anybody here to talk to. Does anybody have anything to say about the fact that Graham's now dead? Like, at all? Good luck in all that you do. Nope, no one seems to know that Graham's not around anymore. Can, can we loot the place now and people not get mad at me? I mean, there's nobody here. I don't think anyone's gonna get mad, right? Right? Probably more I can grab, but it's fine. We've got enough stuff for a while. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try Stellar Bay. Have you guys had enough time to walk back? Probably not. Oh, oh. Well, Sanjar's there. I must thank you for your excellent recommendation regarding Zora. She's most capable. Anyway, what can I do for you? Mm, how are things going in Stellar Bay these days? Quite well. As a matter of fact, Zora is proving most capable. You should see the way she pounds the table and gets straight to the point. It makes for some rather exhilarating meetings. <laughs> I know I had my concerns initially, but your instincts were right. Zora and her compatriots have become valuable and productive members of our community. And since we're back in the board's good graces, we've got real growth prospects to look forward to. What can I do for you? Are you, though? Are you really back in their good graces? Where is Zora at, I wonder? Huh? Huh? Where is she? MSI, MSI. Oh, there she is. Hey, Zora. It feels thoroughly strange to be allied with an actual corporation. But I gotta admit, it has its perks. Perks? What do you what do you mean? Yeah, like, you know, food. They got a hell of a lot of fish here. <laughs> One of our guys is allergic. That's a damn shame. <laughs> how are you how are your people and Sandra's people getting along? They're fine. They harass one another. Stooge this, fanatic that. It's all in good fun. No blood yet. That's <laughs> something, I suppose, right? Are you okay working under Sanjar? I feel like she's not working under Sanjar. She's working with Sanjar. Fuck no. But I'm not working under him. I'm working with him for the safety of my people. Big difference, Captain. Okay, glad it's working out. See you. Okay, well, let me just double check my quest log. So, Radio Free Monarch, Weapons from the Void, I still need to go to Scylla, Scylla, I'm still saying it wrong. Solution Vital is also on that same planet. That one I can turn in. Starcross Troopers is back on Edgewater. Don't bite the sun. Oh yeah, we have to get, get Parvati all smartened up for her date. Empty man, we need to go to Scylla. I'm still saying it all wrong. So I guess let's go back to the Groundbreaker, which is still, I think it's still over on Cascadia. Unreliable in interior. Not the Groundbreaker, the Unreliable. And then go to the Groundbreaker. But I can also drop off a whole bunch of stuff too, which will be very nice. So let's see. We should catch up with everybody. We have impeccable timing, Captain. 
I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Uh, oh, Murder on er Eridano. So I gotta figure out how to say that. That's one of the DLCs. Well, I don't want to do that yet. So we're gonna ignore that. What does it say? Ada has the latest Halcyon Helen Aether Wave ready to watch. Speak to her when you're ready. Well, I, I want to just let me quick save. Can I talk to her about our fuel cells are now primed with Alta Vitae gas? As the organics say, let us hope we do not explode in transit to the groundbreaker. Yeah, that would be really bad. But I wanted to see if I could just talk to her in general. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Well, I guess that's it. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. I don't know why. You seem to run it just fine. Let's see. Let's go and talk to Parvati. See if she has anything new to say. I could probably spend years fixing this boat. Stem to stern. Okay. You met that auto mechanical clanking around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad would say. <laughs> Have you given him a nickname yet? Uh, he's a cleaning aut auto mech and he's not a person per body. No, have you given him a nickname? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. Okay. <laughs> it ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? I suppose. Of course, that don't stop Felix. Well, he's, he's Felix. Um, okay, so let's see if we can find... Oh, look, I've got Iconoclast stuff. The Iconoclast, now that Zora's in charge, the Iconoclast have a fighting chance at surviving and spreading from Monarch. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. What are these? Crown Lantern, Sanjar donated these after you helped MSI. Oh, okay. CMP Borst Worst sign. Do me proud and I shall shower you in Borst Worst and gold. Cross me and I will serve your head on a silver platter with mushroom gravy. Signed by the Borst King of Monarch himself. What? <laughs> Mounted Manta Queen head. What better, what better to establish dominance over an alien ecosystem than by hunting its most dangerous predator and mounting its head on your wall? Okay, I do like how it kind of, uh, my, my room updates as I progress through the story. That's, I like it when games do that. Would you like a reminder on when your next shower is scheduled? Um, sure, I suppose. Do I have any new emails or messages? It doesn't look like it. So let's go check on my crew. Parvati's room. This is, I keep forgetting whose rooms are whose. That's the vicar. You don't think that's a problem? Whole ship's running on a computer's fancy. Then I'll make you nervous, preacher? No, Felix. The concept of a ship computer does not make me nervous. Are you scared of Ada? <laughs> I ain't scared of Ada. Good. I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> it's just, she's a computer, Max. What happens when her equations tell her to cut off her oxygen or blast us all into space? <laughs> Felix, Ada is not sentient. She can't act out of a sense of malice. Where do you get these ideas? I was watching true stories of mechanical murderers last night. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to make you read an actual book. Hey boss, I've been thinking. Oh, oh I feel like that's not a good idea. Good to see you. Thanks, good to see you too. This has got to be Nayoka's room. Frame photograph of Nayoka's crew, a faded photograph of Nayoka with her hunter crew etched into the back in a muddy word is the, in a muddy, in mud, in a muddy red is the word Charon. Unlock the perk, the crew, unlocks the perk, the crew for Nayoka. Okay. Hmm. Lots of uh, alcoholic beverages. There's Ellie's room. So where's Felix? He went this way and now I've lost him again. Oh, it's fine, I'll catch up with him later. Hey, Nayoka, anything to say? <laughs> Ooh, uh-oh. No, I'm fine. <laughs> nope, we're not gonna talk there. 
something on your mind? Mm, nope, I guess that's it. I wanted to, there we go, now we can talk to her. Nope, nope, nope. Ugh, now you stand up. It's fine. I'm trying to think, does the break room or the common area get more cluttered? I don't think so. Where did Felix go? Where did the vicar go? Where did Sam go? Where did everybody go? Can you stand up? No, you can't. Oh, the vicar's here. I find myself marveling at the co yes. something. Mm, okay, nothing new there. Let's go down here and look for Felix. I think he wanted to say something to me. I don't think he would be in my room. Oh, there he is, Felix. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. It makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. Who are we talking about? Oh, is this Graham, about Graham Bryant? At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were going to change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Yeah, don't go looking for role models, Felix. You're, you're just asking to be lied to. He was sorry for what he did. Graham's a piece of trash. He's dead now, so it doesn't matter. I mean, ugh. I mean, role models are always bound to let you down, I, assume, I guess. But I, I'm just going to go with he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. No, I don't like that either. Graham was kind of a piece of trash. He was kind of sorry for what he did. I don't, I don't like any of these options. Um... I think I'm just going to go with the last one. That's the one I dislike the least, I think. Maybe you're right. I can't stop thinking about what he did. About all those people in Amber Heights. Yeah. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Probably not. So Graham wasn't the one who killed all those people he just allowed it to happen? Uh, no, I'm going to go with no. I, I, I'd have a problem with that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. Okay. Hey boss, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. Uh -huh. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? Um, are you going somewhere th with this? Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly? He was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Okay. This is obviously important to you. Yeah, you don't sound too sure about it, though. The guy just vanished without a trace one day. No goodbyes, no explanations. Been gnawing at me ever since, you know? Do you think he's in trouble? That's what I don't know. The message was light on details. No explanations, as usual. Clyde. He was a blustery old cuss. Carried on about violent revolution and seizing the means of production. Okay. Hmm. This is obviously important to you, so let's go. I can see why you're worried. Let's go with that one. Clyde was my first friend, but he was also my mentor. Taught me how to think, how to question, how to disobey. I figured the board got him in the end. Some guys with black uniforms snatching him off the street in the middle of the night or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I guess we can go look for him. I think that's where this is going. <laughs> Clyde's waiting for us on Scylla. What he's doing on an asteroid, I can't begin to imagine. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. It's fine. I've got, like, three other quests to do on, on Scylla, not Scylla or Skyla. So, friendships do. Clyde Harlow, an old friend of Felix from his early days on the Groundbreaker, wants to meet him in person. Harlow told Felix he wants to be a part of a revolutionary project. Um, okay. But Felix has an upgrade. Oh, I need to do that. Probably need to do that for Parvati, Vicar, and Sam. Well, we'll do that later. I, I have to sit down and figure out what I'm doing with all of them. Where is Sam at? I lost Sam. I lost my robot. It's fine, I'm sure. But let's, before we head off to the Groundbreaker, I need to deposit 
some items in here. Let's see. All right, well, I spent some time emptying my bags into my stash box a little bit. I also reorganized some of my weapons on my companions. So I think I'm about as ready to go to the groundbreaker as I can be. So let's go and try and do space crime continuum first and see how that goes and and see if there's anything new, I suppose. Yes, go to the groundbreaker docking bay. And then after the groundbreaker, We've we can- arrived at the groundbreaker. Th thank you, Ada. Then after the groundbreaker, we can go to Hmm. I think we can I'll go. I'll lock up behind you. Thank, thank you, Ada. Then we can go to Phineas, I think. So let's bring Nyoka and Parvati. See how they get along a little bit. Plus, Parvati needs to get all gussied up for her date. That'll be fun, right? <laughs> Come on, you two. Let's go. Nothing to say? Really? I should probably save. I've been saved in a really long time. Uh, yeah, it's right here, right? Yes. Rizzo's purple berry bunch. Yes, purple berry bunch, not punch. Let's stop here and... Is it just me or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. <laughs> well, I did fix the heat. Uh, have a look. All right, bags emptied again. <laughs> but I'm really late since I went to the... to drop everything off. I've got 66 of 370, which is amazing. But we need to go over to Sublight. Nope. No, no, we're good on Boris. Thank you. can't escape the little jingles. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Anything new to say, Tobias? Hope you find some good salvage out there. Or if you can't find some, make some. No, that's, that's no. Uh, looks like I'm working for Sublight now? Swell. Has anyone from HR given you the new employee talk? No. We have an HR department, where is it? I don't actually know. That answers for both questions. <laughs> Here goes. Welcome to Sublight, where salvage runs thicker than blood. We're still trying out new slogans. <laughs> uh, got any others? Sublight, because what's your alternative? <laughs> Keep trying, you'll get there eventually. Hey, that's not a bad slogan. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Glad to have you on board. We could use the help after what happened to the last contractor. You mentioned something happened to your last contractor. Uh, no I didn't. Liar. <laughs> you sure did, when you told me you were grateful to have me on board. Oh, that. Uh, just stay in Miss Lilia's good side. Stealing off supplies is a good way to end up as salvage, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what you mean. You're gonna have a short career with that attitude. <laughs> Just do whatever Miss Lilia says and you'll be fine. Okay. Bye. That was funny. I can't believe I haven't had that conversation before. Hello, Lilia. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120 some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. <laughs> How much, how much money did I get? I got reputation, lots of XP, and eh, that's not very much money. So the height, ambi height of ambition for us all. So persuade, you're not the only one who enjoys the finer things, Lilia. Ugh, nowhere near that one. So yeah, the height of ambition for us all is to get a gold toilet to shit on. <laughs> you're goddamn right. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium, but here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Thanks. In case you were curious, no one was following me. Do you always send your first timers into certain peril? I guess you're just one of the lucky ones. Look on the bright side. You just started and you're already on the path to a promotion. 
You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Yeah? Catherine sounds pleased as a pig in shit over cornering the Borst markets. <laughs> hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any strange looks, did they? Well, I, uh, depends on what you mean by strange. Like they were hanging on to your every word, scheming. And when you turned around, maybe they just point like innocent little idiots. Um, are you feeling okay? <laughs> Oink at her softly. <laughs> that sounds utterly insane. Yeah, no, I don't think the pigs like were conspiring against us. Why? I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? Uh, uh, sh sh are you doing okay? I've got a lot on my mind, but it's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up, assuming you're still interested in work. Yeah? They're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? Looking to expand, huh? Fallbrook ain't big enough for you? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Hmm. How did a research station become salvage? Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. Okay. Sounds risky. Do you have a buyer lined up? Not this time. The board tolerates our business up to a point, and selling off a station full of their old gear and terminals crosses that point. <laughs> but if we were to move in and commandeer the station as a sublight salvage remote office, that's a different matter. Legally gray by comparison. More of a squatter situation. <laughs> Well, I guess just point me in the right direction. I don't mind taking jobs. I need money to upgrade my weapons. <laughs> Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Who would be following me? Who are we worried about? Authorities? Competitors? Both. Neither. Right now, it's safer if I keep you in the dark. But... I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in, but right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Okay, that doesn't sound excellent. So the icy palace, Lily Hagen has another lead on some valuable salvage, an abandoned space station. She gave you an override bypass that should stake her claim over HRS 1084 as a rightful property uh, of sublight salvage. So the override cartridge will hand over control of the station's system to sublight, legitimizing Lilia's claim over the salvage. And then Parvati has an up upgrade. So let's see, we can either do 20% chance to reset ability cooldown on kill. Harmful effect duration. Increases the damage dealt by this companion for a short time after performing their companion ability. Or, uh, let's see, less auto mechanical damage received. What did I do for Nyoka? Hmm. Huh. I mean, less auto mechanical damage would be nice, but like, I haven't really needed it all that much. Hmm. I gotta think about that for a minute. Can I, can I read her book? Sublight, a legitimate business? I feel like I've read that before. Okay. Well. Dangerous Frontiers by Ophelia Sweeney? I feel like I've read that before too. Yes, I have. Okay, well let's, um, Let's do the other thing that we were going to do here, which is don't bite the sun. So let's go take Parvati to get all gussied up for her like date. I hear you workers were on the clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. My condolences. I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person, but that still sounds awful. 
At least Sanjar gives his folks weekends. Weekends? Hand to the void. I used to drop by the bar in Stellar Bay to knock a few back with the folks who had Saturdays off. Don't know what I'd have done with that much time. I was always behind schedule anyhow. Knowing you, you'd sit and be alone with your thoughts. We okay? All right. What's a weekend? I mean, oh my gosh, that's so sad <laughs> and awful. I can't believe it's not Okay, so I think we had to go and talk to the lady in Rest and Go, right? Maybe? This is Halcyon News. Ooh. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Spacer's Choice proudly announced their latest product today. Slim and Shine Diet Toothpaste. The paste hungry spacers choose. Coming soon to a sales location near you. Huh. In unrelated news, Auntie Cleo announced lower profit projections for the fiscal year. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to broadcast. Well, I guess she found a buyer for her diet toothpaste. She being the... What is her name in here? Granny Gladys or something like that. <laughs> Hello, Gladys. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Oh, I I can't, actually. You see, my engineer's looking to do some deep cleaning once to impress Chief Junle. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a home makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. Mm. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Uh... Roges, when it comes to romance, you can't go wrong with the classics. How about mock apple and synthamin? Parvati's sweet just like a pie. All. Oh. An engineer might like refurbished ship, scrubbed parts, and all that. Well, let's ask Parvati what her preference is. Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. <laughs> it comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering... I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Um. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and synthamin. I guess you could eeny miny mow it. Uh, Take your time, dear. A lady's sense says a lot about her. <laughs> well, let's go with her recommendation and and do Rosish. We didn't have anything Rosish in Edgewater. I heard it smells real pretty, though. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Okay, okay, bye. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Uh-huh. I have classic rose-ish rose basket. What does that say? This product is packed with sulfates and mild radioactives for deep scalp cleansing and will leave your hair with a healthy glow and smelling sweet and rosish like only chemicals can. Warning, selling this product outside of Byzantium is illegal and result in a fine of 60,000 bits. That seems a little bit excessive. Oh, I never gave the, 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 the cantankerous Canaan targeting module to anybody. You would think they would still want it though. Okay, let's step let's step out here and have this conversation not right in front of the of Gladys. Granny Gladys. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. Yeah. So here here's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. Okay. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish from Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. There's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. 
And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. Uh, okay, we'll figure it out. I just left Monarch Parvati. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. Oh, did I already find Sweetheart Cakes by a dustbag cat? Hang on, there's lots of updates. Okay, so Parvati wants to smarten herself up. We did that. Purchase a dustback casserole from Chef Raymond in Stellar Bay. Okay, find a sweetheart cake in the old Rizzo, Rizzo's facility in Cascadia. Do I already? I must already have that. Oh, I do. A delicious sweetheart cake that tastes nearly like actual marzipan, according to a blind taste test by consumers who have never tasted marzipan, proudly manufactured by Rizzo's. Okay, well, there's all the paste it looks like in the middle. Well, we'll go back to Cascadia later. I don't really want to, not Cascadia, back to Monarch later. I just, we just left there. You couldn't have like given me these instructions before we left. I mean, it's fine, but let's head back to the you ship. You ever been off Monarch, Nyoka? Before you met the captain, I mean. Nah, I mostly just drank and hunted. As soon as you stop to dream of other things, that'll be the day something sneaks up and eats you. Don't fret. I'm watching you back now. Anything tries to eat us, I'll give it a mighty whack on the nose. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. You watch my back, I'll watch yours. Parvati, making friends all over the place. Does Nayoka have anything new to say, though? I bet you'll like Rebecca. What's up? Who's Rebecca? Um, I'm sure you've got all manner of hunting stories. Tell me one. <laughs> I took a job once to clear out a rap nest, partnered up with a fellow out of Fallbrook who called himself Dirty Don. Bit on the shorter side, had a pension for cards. Thing is, he introduces himself and the man is immaculate, clean. He had a flowery presence to him, a pleasantness that didn't invade your space. He was just there and you were glad for it. So why was he called Dirty Dan then? When we set out to hunt down the Raptodons, I found out firsthand where his nickname came from. Oh dear. Dirty Don killed those Raptodons with his bare hands. Oh my gosh. His bare fucking hands, Captain. He was a whirlwind of grotesque primal fury. Uh-huh. In the end, he stood drenched in blood over the entrails of a dozen raps. If he had a scratch on him, I wouldn't have been able to tell. It was glorious. Okay, so... What happened to him? Is he still out there tearing up the wildlife? Day came when he tried to take on a mana queen. Got himself eaten oh, one gosh. limb at a time. Wonder if he tasted like soap. <laughs> oh well, live and learn. No matter how tough you are, if you're gonna fight something bigger than you, bring a fire on. But how did you know he got eaten one limb at a time? Were you there and then you just let him get eight? Or how, how did that actually work for you but anyway i guess it doesn't matter too terribly much so i think what we're gonna do now is head to talk to phineas and turn in radio free monarch I, I, <laughs> eventually we'll head back to monarch soon. what do you think of the unreliable parvati there's always something to fix and it's neat working in the aether i always took atmo for granted now if i drill through the hole we all suffocate exciting you know um i I'm not sure I wanted to know that. Me either. Being in space sets me on edge enough. <laughs> you know about stellar emissions? A actually, I probably shouldn't tell you about those. No. I mean, not unless you want to know how we're all likely to get spacers long. Right. Okay. When we get back to the ship, I'm drinking this conversation right out of my recollection. <laughs> I, yeah, that's fine, Nyoka. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go back to the unreliable. I probably could have fast traveled in there, but these conversations are so great. <laughs> and then we'll go to, whoa. Then we'll go to the Phineas's lab. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself or would you like to do the honors? Congrats, Ada, for landing in the place that we've already landed before. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Who should I bring this time? Let's bring... Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to bring Sam, but let, let's actually just keep the same two, just in case. <laughs> don't 
don't know why it's a just in case, but we'll just leave it as is. That's probably what I meant to say. Anyway, now I'm rambling. All right, Phineas, are you still locked behind there? Let's say before we talk to him. Bubbles, the lone sisty pig survivor. You, I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Hmm. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. I am? Uh, what, what was that about Minister Clark? Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Hmm, what's so important about these chemicals? Well, these are the chemicals that are going to unfreeze everybody else in the hope, right? If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. Okay. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you do make it sound so simple. But what's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Hmm. Anything I should know about this Carmen... I can't even say her last name. <laughs> let's, let's start there and see if I can get through all of these. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. How do you have all this money? I mean, where did it, I mean, okay. So there's something else I want to talk to you about. Of course, of course. It's... What's on your mind? Is there anything new? I guess not. Oh. Can he, does he have anything else to say? I've heard those iconoclasts have a rather smashing opinion of you. Get it? Smashing? Iconoclasts? No, oh, never mind. Uh, What's on your mind? Anything else? You've done fine work for Sublight. By the transitive property of reputation, I am now in Sublight's good books. Well done. That's not how that works. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Okay, that's it. Okay, well, speaking of reputation, let's go in and look at that. So, revering, iconoclasts revering, best employees ever. So, you're friendly to this faction, vendor prices are reduced, sublight salvage is great, the board is neutral. Hmm. All right, well, let's level up again. So, I was doing hack, I think, right? Because when we get that up to 80, auto mechanical detection range is minus 30%. I mean, I guess that seems useful. And then I'll do Persuade and Lie after that, I think. So let's apply. So now what should I do? Oh, I have another one for now. I guess that means I can do this one next. Oh, I'm going to have to sit there and think about those. But let's see, what should we do? So we just finished uh, Radio Free Monarch. 
So you discover the location of the chemicals and rooted the data to Phineas. The chemicals I need to unfreeze everybody else on the Hope. So the City of the Stars. I didn't think I was going to actually get to go to Byzantium, but I'm all for that. So now that Phineas knows the Minister Clark has been hoarding dimethyl sulfoxide in Byzantium, he needs you to get to the city to steal it. Totally easy. But I think before we do all that, I, I want to go and do Scylla's stuff first, because I've got Solution Vital. I've got a couple um, things that I need to do. Well, I got Felix, and then I also have, um, let's see, I also have Vicar Max's ones to do there. But I think, why don't we make our way, let's actually make our way back to Auntie Cleo's place. Because I had to go and visit the guy over there because he sent me a message to come back and see him. And I forget what the guy's name is, but I remember where he's at. So let's try going there. And then, since it's on Terra 2, we can go into Edgewater next, which is Nyoka's companion quest, I believe. Not today, Sam. I am not in the mood for a deep clean. <laughs> oh, all right. Some culprit, who shall not be named, spilled Rizzo's lemon slap on my console. <laughs> Issuing sanitation ticket. Error! Refill printer paper. Oh. Um, I guess that's it. Let's go to... It was Terra 2, but we go to the... Roseway... Oh, Byzantium's on Terra 2? Interesting. I didn't. Captain, I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Okay. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. Um, what is it? It's a parcel, ma'am. Okay. Uh, are you sure it's not a package? <laughs> no, I mean, what's the parcel? A parcel is a shipment wrapped and prepared for delivery, ma'am. Now, it's, I'm asking you what's inside this parcel. Opening a customer's parcel is strictly against regulations. HPS's no peaking policy guarantees that your deliveries remain confidential and HPS remains free of any liability. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. Uh, they, they did what? They dispensed three complimentary spritzes of Anti Cleo's Citrus Squirt Air Freshener. That's the HPS touch for you, Captain Hawthorne. Uh huh. On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness to your parcel. Thank you for your patience. And please remember HPS for all of your future parcel-related needs. Oh, uh, okay. B bye <laughs> There's my... The ones who walk away from Gorgon. That's the Peril on Gorgon uh, DLC. Well, I guess I'm, I'm of the level to do all of them, but I, I, I don't want to do any of them right now. Let me see. Starcross Troopers, that's... Nyoka's quest, but I want to... I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Mm-hmm. Is, is, that, is that okay? Do you, I mean, it's not... Well, I mean, it's technically not his fault that your other captain died. Good luck, Captain. Thanks. I always feel like she's... It's so like, good luck, Captain. <laughs> you know, like she's gonna, I don't know, kill me or something. I'm just, I'm just waiting for it to happen. So let's see, we want to go to Roseway and it was the guy who made the weapon. And he was over here, nope, here. Here he is. What's his name? Orson Shaw. Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. I went to great risk to send that. Okay. Uh, I did. What did you mean by an item of great value? Aha. Uh -huh. I knew that it'd entice you to return to our dangerously unprofitable township. Uh, 
I asked you here because I have a working prototype of the Alti nature, Anti-Cleo's very first weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated. Oh. Thank, thank you? Um, confiscated? Why? The schematics you fetched for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, Anti-Cleo R&D felt otherwise. The market's already saturated, they said. Weapons are everywhere. They aren't interested in mass-producing the Alti nature, which makes this an illegal prototype weapon. Oh. Given your unlawful proclivity, <laughs> I thought it'd be safest with you. So here we are. I'd rather see it in the hands of a free agent than destroyed. Uh, sorry to hear that. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Hey, you don't gotta tell me twice. Yeah, I'll, we'll go with the first one. So what did I get? Ooh. Alti Nature Anti Cleo. Orson Shaw built this prototype for Anti Cleo based on blueprints found by Heather. Maybe it won't blow up in your hand. Well, we'll definitely have to try it out. It's a corrosive special effect. I may need to give that to Ellie. She's my my handgun lady. Okay, well that was that was that was nice gift. Thank thank you, Orson. Um, and I'll put it to good use, I hope. So in our next video, which is next Saturday, or this coming Saturday, rather, so we're going to go back and work on some of these miscellaneous quests. So we're going to go to Edgewater, and then um, I think we'll do Ice Palace, because that's not on Scylla. And then maybe we'll also do... Hmm... Maybe we'll also go back to Monarch and just purchase this casserole and go send Parvati off on her date and then and then see what we can do from there. But I think we'll just kind of wrap up some side quests and then if there's time, go off to Scylla because there's several quests over there and, and then see how long we spend on that planet. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Saturday with another new Outer Worlds video.